What's up everybody? It's December and we're going fishing. Hey look, I found a new launch and they got this cool uh, thing to back up to and put your kayak on. Check it out. Little did I know it takes off when you put it on there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not sure what the point of that is. I guess it, it helps when the tide is high. I asked me what my nose rope's for. Bam. This is sand here, it's not mud. All right, launching a Revo for the first time. What did I forget? Oh, just your lures. <laughs> my, my boxes of lures. Your boxes of lures that you sat there and prepared. So I went through her stuff and I stole two. That's all I need. Two, man. She's got a huge thing of gulp. So one jig head and all her, we got more than enough, more than enough, man. Drop those in there. Time to get these suckers wet. Hey, what's happening, everybody? I just ran a TJ at the boat launch in face. What's going on, man? Nothing. 6.30 a.m.? That's it, nothing. Popping corks? Yes. Gulp? Yeah. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah? I'm up here for, um, I just got a job here. I'm um, doing occupational therapy. All right, man. So you're gonna be fishing here a lot then. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm just try I'm new to the area. I'm just um, gonna go to Gulf Breeze this morning. But I wasn't too sure about the wind. And uh, I've caught a lot of reds here as well. Really? This light. winter? No, no. It was like um, I'm gonna say October. October. We're using live shrimp. They uh, just got a cast net for uh, Christmas, so I on. just tried out. Only caught two little um, bass with it. But really? That's it. Wow. So it's bad. pretty fresh in here right now. Yeah. Well, it's cool to run into you, bro. Very Hey, nice to meet you. I'm sure we'll see you around. Huh? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> How you like that um, that West Marine? That's like the perception. Yeah, I, I love it. Um, I get to stand up on it. I stood up on it the first time today. Yeah? I'm um, 220 pounds, 6'4". Right. That's pretty stable. I don't know. I like how, I like how it has that uh, that hump so you can kind of sit up high and yeah, side cast yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I sit up there sometimes, yeah. but... drive for the first time. Take a look at that. All right, forward and reverse. So I'll pull this. Should go forward. Ooh, I can tell you already this boat's gonna haul booty. A little different than the outback. Oh, I can tell you that already this boat's gonna be lightning fast. All right, let's put it in reverse. Still in reverse. Oh, don't go wrong. I don't have the space up front like I had in the outbacks. I don't have those two flush mount rod holders. So I've got to find a good spot to lay the rod down so this doesn't happen. I'm just going to go everywhere backwards today. That's how we're going to roll. It's kind of cool like a boat, man. You put it in reverse and back out of the launch, you know? That's pretty awesome. Now I gotta figure out how to make it go forward. You just pull it harder or what? You gotta put it in a certain position. Oh, you gotta put it in the middle. No, I think you have to make the pedals even. Well, I can tell you already, this is gonna increase my range. This thing flies. Wow. Teresa just hung a speck and drug it to the boat, came off, but she was throwing gulp on bottom, so I'm gonna put on a white gulp jerk shad and see what happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice one, Teresa. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good looking trap. Woo! <laughs> Right here on the point, man. I slid up here so I could stand up. Oh, yes. Hooked him good, too. Ah. 
That's legally. Look at here, look at here. We don't have any measurement. That's what I'm talking about. Jerk shad on a jig head. But uh, on my rods, I fingernail polished 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So I have a good guesstimator. All right, so he comes, he's a little bit longer than that one. So 5, 10, 15, so he's like 15 and a half. Keep a trout, huh? Well, I made my nose rope really long, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a chunk off of that and make a little stringer. I really wanna take some trout home to eat, so I just poke a hole through his lip, and I'll tie this first guy on. And he'll be the stopper for the next few trout. There you go. Trout on a string. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. That sucker's almost a keeper right there. Yeah, we're you get bumps in this little deep spot. That's a throwback, but they're here. Alright. What you got girl? Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking business. Oh, that's a nice fish. Ooh, you might have a keeper there. <laughs> we're not far from the house either. Oh. Look at that, that's a keeper, lady. So what were you doing, Teresa? How'd you catch him? I was bumping gulp on the bottom. Yeah, slow, low and slow, right? Low and slow. I used to say the, the thing for winter is low and slow. Now I'm gonna say north low and slow. And what I mean by north low and slow is that the reds and the trout tend to push up the bays, up into the canals, up into the creek. So north, low and slow. Gave you a parting gift, Teresa. Yeah, so how are we liking the Revos, Teresa? I, I, you know, they're doing the job. They're, doing they're the catching job. fish, yeah, I'm but catching they're fish. lighter. They're lighter, yeah. Enjoying the lightness? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, it was great. I'm going fishing. <laughs> Love's taking the time to bring all this goodness to y'all. You know, it's your job to bring these people these fish. Two. Also, I'm going to suspend you for two days and your pay's been docked. Trout are in the weak fish family and they school. When you find one, you find a bunch of them. He's about gone. That They go up a shredder, but I'm still catching them with it. <laughs> All jacked up. I use the reverse to get myself out of the zoo. Finding that reverse is pretty handy. All right, I got a little better fish, people. I foul hooked him. <laughs> He's not better. He's tiny. He's just been foul hooked. Now, one thing I love about this rascal is this. Man, just straight into the wind. Check me out, man. I'm cooking, man. He slices like a hot knife through butter. Super amount of speed. Stock Mirage Drive, stock rudder. Fantastic. I, I, I wouldn't change a thing on those. Turbo fins, don't need them. Sail rudder, don't need it. Perfect balance on this Revo to me. My, in my estimation. Man, I'm excited about these Revos. I'm excited about the speed giving me more range. I just like new stuff. I like different stuff. I like trying different stuff. Varieties of spice of life. Isn't that what they say? So I nosed up in here. I peed. Now it's time to come out. 
reverse. I don't think I've used my paddle all day. Pull that one. Having the forward and reverse Mirage Drive is definitely a luxury. And man, what a nice luxury it is. I haven't touched any paddle all day to back out of anything. I've used it to hold my position in the wind. It's been an awesome asset, I love it. In summation, I'm very excited about this Revo. Teresa has expressed that she thinks the speed is gonna benefit us offshore even more than the stability of the Outback. So we're gonna see that this spring, what these things do offshore. I'm totally pumped. How was it, fun? Great christening of the Revos. I approve. Do you miss your Outback? Uh, no. Not to the point to where I wouldn't use it, but I, I, I see how I would use this offshore and I would use my Outback in other situations. Really? Yeah. The opposite. Like when we, like, no, I would use this offshore. Before. Really? Why? Yeah. Um, it's fast. Super fast. It's stable. Uh, the Outback I would use, like I'm going to use it tonight under the bridge. Not going far. Not going far. I can move it myself. Um, I like the extra space when we're fighting big fish. So that's where I find it. This is very tight, very slim and long. Fast, very fast. I like it. I'm really digging it too. I'm excited to see what the Revo brings in the year 2017. I'm Ty, that's Teresa, and that's a lot of traffic. Till next time, we'll see you right here on 30 Miles Out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What?